A good one in store tonight from Progressive Field. Indians baseball comes your way. Baseball under the lights from Progressive Field here in the Buckeye State of Ohio. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and their Ohio rivals to the north, the Cleveland Indians. Here with another edition of Indians Baseball, I'm Matt Vaskersian. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Cincinnati Reds as they'll align themselves like this here tonight. They'll go to work against the third overall pick in the 2011 draft class, the hard-throwing right-hander Trevor Bauer. Defensively, the Indians will line up this way. Here comes perhaps the fastest man in baseball as Billy Hamilton strides forward to get this ball game underway. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. One strike offering now to Hamilton. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Eric, we take a look at the tribe as they begin here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Yeah, I mean, they're looking like world beaters right now. I don't care what league you're in. Anytime you can put together a double-digit win streak like these guys have put together, playing some great baseball. A look there at our scouting report is here's what you'll see out of this 23-year-old right-hander. And that's going to bring up a guy that played in Cleveland briefly in the early part of his career, Brandon Phillips. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Here's the 1-0 now to Phillips. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. Ready now on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes, two and one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Here he comes, three one. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Moss back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Well, if this is a day game, this is a home run. You know, a night game, much different story here. This place just doesn't have the same kind of carry to it under the lights. And this winds up being a long out to the warning track. Joey Votto will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. First pitch on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. 
You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. Here it comes. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Here comes a one, two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order, and now the Indians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. Now we'll look at the starting lineup for the Indians here. They'll step in against a real strikeout artist, the hard-throwing right-hander Johnny Cueto. And defensively, you see the Reds line up like this behind him. Standing in is the leadoff man, Michael Bourne, as he'll get things started in the home half of the first. Center fielder. And the first pitch to him hit on the ground to Phillips at second. And a rather easy first out. Yeah, probably not an ideal at-bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. I'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch, and he's gone before you know it. Jason Kipnis will stand in for the first time now, and he's been hot as a firecracker of late, and he's seen that average shoot up quite a bit these past eight ball games. Now here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, and the pitching really let him down last time. Okay. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2-0 and oh or 3-1. and one. That'll catch up with you after a while. Now the pitch. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. You know, and this is one of the few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength at the plate. Once you get that thing started, it's really hard to put on the brakes, and he winds up breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. Michael Brantley will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a cold strike. And the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Now here it comes. 
struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Down in order go the Tribe. We've played an inning. No score. Jay Bruce leads things off now in the top half of the second. Fielder number 32, Jay Bruce. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now the pitch. And that oh. misses one and one. Uh. One one on the way. And this one oh. misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. What? He's worked his way into another good hitters count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting fifth, designated hitter, Chris Chris Heisey will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give them a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. And here's the first pitch. Inside Whoa. with the first pitch splitter, and it's 1-0. No score here as we play inning number two. The next pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Here's the 1 1. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's 1 and 2 now. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Yeah, he essentially tripled up there. That means he threw the same pitch. One, two, three times in a row. You don't see that very often, but it's going to work out for him as he gets the strikeout. Here's Todd Frazier now. Right. As yeah. he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Ten home runs and 49 runs batted in. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. The pitch. Whoa. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Brand opportunity. Now, and as you can see, he enters play with that average up near the 320 mark. First offering on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Come on, let's get a hit. Here comes the pitch to Moss. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Go. 
1-1 pitch on the way. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. So a base hit here to start the inning, and he continues to pile them up as we take a look at our league leaders in hits so far. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Nick Swisher will dig in now. And as you can see, he's right up there in the American League batting race, currently second entering play. First pitch to him. Fouled back. He waits. Now the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Swisher. Can't ask for a whole lot more to start the inning. Hey, back-to-back -back base hits have him threaten to score our first run of the night. Jan Gomes will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. First pitch coming. Runs up to Bunn and he gets it down to the right side. Only played at first, so the sacrifice works that time. I don't think you can ask for a whole lot more right here. You get back-to-back -back singles, then a good sacrifice. And just like that, they're set up for what could be a big inning. David Murphy will get his first shot down, and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Here's the first offering. Fouled back. From the stretch. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Pause. Now the pitch. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Yeah, and that turns out to be a nice little play there behind the plate. They get the swing through for strike three, but then he's got to get the out over there at first base and make sure that nobody else advances. And he's able to accomplish both of those tasks. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleacher. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And the Indians move in front now, three to nothing. He made a pretty nice comeback and looked like he was on the verge of working out of this inning on scored upon, but he made one final mistake here. It's going to cost him three runs after all. Stepping in now, Zach Walters. As he gets under the first pitch and sends a fly ball out to a right field. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. Indians hang a crooked number thanks to this three-run home run. We've played two. It's 3-0 in favor of the Tribe. Ryan Ludwig will stand in now to lead things off. 7-8-9 here to start the third inning. 
And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. First pitch coming. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Here's another 0-2. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. E.K., you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Oh. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Well, after getting ahead here, 0-2, you know, he nibbles for a couple pitches, and then finally he just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by him. Here's the shortstop, Zach Cozart. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. 2-1. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. And the throw to Swisher, two away. Batting ninth, catcher. Brian Pena. Brian Pena will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The speedy Michael Bourne will start things out when we come back. It's the Indians three and the Reds nothing. And there, in fact, is the speedy Mr. Bourne. As promised, he'll start things out here in the home third. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. To the second baseman, Phillips. Throw to first is in time for the first out. One away now, and here's the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Now the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Now here's the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the line behind third. Under it is Frazier now, and that's out number two. Well, sometimes when you miss with your location, it actually works to your benefit. I mean, this pitch is further up than I think he wants it, but hey, it works out for him.
Here's Michael Brantley. As he'll swing and send a line drive out to right field. Bruce is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Billy Hamilton will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Here it comes. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Man, he get flat out fly. I mean, once this thing got down, you figured if this is a fair ball, it's a base hit. That's almost too easy there. Brandon Phillips will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Here's the first offering. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Just nickel and diving him to death right now. They get a bunt single, then they follow that up with an infield single. And so now it's first and second, and they're in position to really make something out of nothing. Joey Votto will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. Now the first pitch. Ball one. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Let's go, Indians! 1 0 on the way. 2 and 0 now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Bubble spot here, the 2 0. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2 and 1 now. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And this is going to be a foul ball. None out, runners at first and second. Sets the 2 2 pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. EK, where are you going now on 3 and 2? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Out in front, but this is skied into straightaway right. Taking this one in his moss, and there's your first down. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Runners at the corners here with one gone in the inning. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Jay Bruce. First pitch on the way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? Shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Runners are at first and third, one away. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. And when he's going good, you know he can get in your kitchen. And he's just claimed another victim with that at bat. Chris Heisey. Chris Heisey will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, tough pitches here, back to back. And now he's not going to give him anything good with a runner at second base. 
comes set. Now the pitch. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Indians three and the Reds one. Brandon Moss will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Brandon Moss. Here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here comes the pitch to Moss. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. One away. Wow, showing some sweet athleticism right there getting off the mound. This is not an easy play, but he gets to it quickly, and then he makes a good, strong throw for the out. Here's the switch hitting Nick Swisher. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Now the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. This one for two bases. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. For Swisher, a pretty remarkable total, all things considered. 40 doubles on the year now. Here comes the 1-0. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Well, I think he got away with one right there. I mean, this is a fastball right down the middle. And he just smokes this ball, too. But unfortunately, he hits it right at someone. So it becomes a fairly easy out. David Murphy will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And an ugly swing there as this is fisted foul off to the left for strike one. From the belt, the pitch. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. He's ready now. The pitch. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there. So that's a good idea to run something in tight. Here comes the one-two. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! So a two-run homer down the line in right field as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Guy on the mound right now is absolutely livid. 
he knows that he threw way too hittable of a pitch in the situation when he's ahead in the count like that. He should be mad at himself. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw on Devado will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Todd Frazier will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Third baseman, Todd Frazier. And here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Split-fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now the one two. And he oh. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ryan Ludwig will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Pitch on the way. Now a fastball here, one not one. close, and it's one and one now. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. And this is fouled back and out of play. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. The right-hander deals on one and two, and this will be fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here's another 1-2. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. The batter, number two, shortstop, Zach Crozon. Zach Cozart will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch to him. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Now here it comes. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now 0-2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And now a pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes another 0-2. Fouled straight back. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, and he dusted oh. him off the plate that time. Play Some mind ball. games one being ball. played now. It's 1-2. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him. 
I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Two, two. Fouled back. Here he comes on two and two. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with another two two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. They're down here five to one. Zach Walters will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Zach Walters. First offering on the way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Phillips throws to first, and that's out number one. The center fielder number 24. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that will bring in the speedy center fielder, Michael Bourne. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here we go, Michael. First pitch coming. Here we go. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And Votto will take this one to the bag himself for the out. Boy. If there was ever a guy who needed a quick inning, that's him right there. He's been hit pretty hard prior to this inning, so this is a nice way to rebound for him right here. So bases are empty here with two gone, and standing in now, the power-hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Here's the first offering. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's the pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There to play it is Phillips. Off-balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Just a four-pitch inning there as the Indians go down quietly. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Brian Pena will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. First pitch coming. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh, that's wrong. That's so wrong. The 1-0. That's Whoa. wide, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Oh. Two 2-0 oh on the way. In the dirt, it's 3-0 oh now. Seems like they're working very cautiously here. Is this a little too cautious? Yeah, I mean, why are they giving this guy so much credit up there? He's someone that you got to come right after. That one's in there, three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Here he comes on three one. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Just the first walk he's given up here so far to go along with just the two hits. So he's been pretty well in command throughout this entire start. 
Billy Hamilton will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. Come on, turn the double. Now the first pitch. Too low, 1-0. Oh. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ballgame. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5-1 ball game. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1-2. and two. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught on yet. It's a pretty standard operating procedure, too. I, but they just look lost up there. Something's called right here. Here's the one, two. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Brandon Phillips will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Here's the first pitch to him. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And right about now, you got to know as a hitter that you're going to see a heavy dose of that splitter. That's a good take up there to get ahead. one -oh. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And Phillips has himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Only their third hit of the ball game so far. He's got two of them. Now, this offense has pretty much been non-existent this entire ball game. Joey Votto will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Now the pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And here's where the Reds need that one key hit that's been avoiding them. From the stretch. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Bourne's throw comes in, and that'll hold the runner at third. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. This is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. Jay Bruce will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit it still hasn't shown up yet. And like you say, you got the bases loaded. You just wonder how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make the change here. That's going to be all for Trevor Bauer. He'll wind up lasting just one out into the sixth inning, but he'll leave with the lead and was effective in this one. Scott Downs will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Now the first pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And this is swung on and missed. So oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Boy, you got to believe he's counting his lucky stars out there on the mound. He's facing one of the best run producers in the game with the bases loaded, and he's able to retire him. He's still not off the hook yet, but at least that'll earn him a big exhale out there. Chris Heisey will stand in 0 for 2 thus far.
He waits. Now the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Grounded, fouled off to the right. He's ready. Now the pitch. Breaking ball. ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Yeah, even though you've got a big lead, you don't want to give him a cheapie. That's a nice block right there. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field. And that ball is gone! It's grand salami time! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Sixth home run on the season for him, as we are all tied at five. Well, I'll tell you what. Even a four-run lead isn't safe with this guy at the plate. And can you believe how this ball game has turned around? He ties the ball game up here on one swing of the bat. The batter, third baseman, Todd Frazier. Josh Tomlin is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 43, Josh Tomlin. Here's Todd Frazier now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. And the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Hits are even right now at five aside. Here it comes. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And what's the call? It's a home run. And now hold on just a second here. You can see the four umpires gathering near third. And it would appear that they're going to discuss whether this in fact stayed inside the foul pole. And I would guess that after all the discussion, they're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay. And that is indeed what they'll do as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. Another 0-2 home. And they'll try to oh. tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. They'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. And he struck him out, and there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. But the damage certainly done as the Reds get on the board on this grand slam. On to the bottom of the sixth, all even at five apiece. Michael Brantley will stand in to get things going for the Indians in their half of the sixth. Here's the first offering. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. This is where a guy who's been very aggressive around the plate may start thinking about being a little more fine later on in the game. When these guys start thinking, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and jump on the first pitch. You don't even have to throw him something good to hit. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. 
And here's where you're really looking for that shutdown inning out there. Your guys have just put up a four spot to tie the ball game. So this is where you need to hold up your end of the bargain and keep the game level. That's a good job there to get that first out. Brandon Moss will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. First pitch coming. And that swung on and fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Come on. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. You talk about tying a guy up. My goodness. The pitch. A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want a zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. 1-2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw gets him. Two down. This is exactly what he needed after his guys came back to tie the ball game. He's only one out away from a shutdown inning. Nick Swisher will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. Now here's the pitch. And he reaches out to get this one as it's grounded to third. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Down in order go the Tribe. This ball game still tied 5 all. Back here in Cleveland, all tied at five as you take a look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Ryan Ludwig will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Left fielder, Ryan Ludwig. Come on, Indian. First pitch on the way. And that one's ball in one. on the hands to start one the ball. inning. It's ball no, one. No. The 1 0 home. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number two, shortstop, Zach Kozart. Zach Kozart will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. He's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the pitch. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. And with all the runs that have scored tonight, you'd think that ball would have had some carry to it. I don't think he got that one flush, though. Brian Pena will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. And here's the first pitch. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Now the 1-0. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. 
Now the 1-1. One, one. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 1-2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Reds. Our score holds at five apiece. J.J. Hoover will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. J.J. Hoover. Jan Gomes will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Fastball in there for a cold strike. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the pitch. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing and two now. You got to be a little more restrained here leading off an inning. That's a big run if you can get on base, and you don't want to give away an opportunity by chasing bad pitches. And now a pitch on the way. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Gone! A mistake on 0-2 gets punished, and it's a home run. A solo shot here to left, and that is 27 for him on the year. And this one gives him the lead at 6-5. Wow, he has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game, and now another one here. Dave Carlson will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Dave Carlson. David Murphy will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Now here's the first pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Now here it comes. How oh, and he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it. And then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little clean up back there and then get the put out down at first. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. First pitch to him. 
Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And that's a pretty good job of staying with the ball because he doesn't really panic after he clanked it. And then he just regathers himself and fires a strike to first to get the out. In now, Zach Walters. As he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1-0. The 1-0. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at 1-1. One and one. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Indian strike for one on this solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now six to five. Billy Hamilton will get us going now in the top half Leading of the eighth. Billy Hamilton. Brian Shaw is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. One strike offering now to Hamilton. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Here it comes. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. And you saw the numbers when he came in a minute ago. He is yet to give up an earned run this year, so you can't ask for a whole lot more than that from one of the keys to your bullpen. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth. And stepping in, the second baseman, Brandon Phillips. Now here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And the pitch. And the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to right. Moss will handle this one, and there are two away now. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Joey Votto will get another crack, one for three thus far. First offering on the way. And that's in there for strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Now here's the pitch. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Boy, it's been a good solid inning so far out of the pen. Let's see if he can wrap this one up. Now here's the pitch. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Yeah, Tyne runs on base now with two outs. And who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we could have ourselves a tie ball game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Jay Bruce will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Yeah. Here it 
attention, please. Now so a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. First pitch coming. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. Ready with the 1-0 now to Bruce. Another sinker here, but this one's over for strike one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. They haven't been afraid of coming right after this guy. They've made him have to swing the bat. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Well, that's a good take there with two strikes. That wasn't an easy one to lay off of. The 2-2 two -two coming. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Reds lead one. This one remains close. It's six to five. Stephen White is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Number 35, Stephen Michael Bourne will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first offering. And now he'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bunt attempt. Sometimes that first pitch of an inning, a guy will go up there and show a bunt, but then pull it back just to pull that third baseman in a few steps. But he's not bluffing right here. He's trying to beat this thing out. But he winds up heading back to the dugout after just one pitch. Jason Kipnis will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch coming. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And now a pitch on the way. Lined hard to center field. Hamilton is there, two gone. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but it's one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Michael Brantley will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this prize that he's been a non-factor in this one, usually a major force in their offense. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The pitch. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Ninth inning coming up. Cleveland's out in front, 6-5. to five. Chris Heisey 
We'll stride in again as we flash you back to inning number six, and this was certainly a big blow in this one. A grand slam as he left no doubt about that one. Cody Allen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 39, Cody Allen. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Here's the pitch. Off speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Well, if he's going to overcommit to pitches like that down in the zone, I keep throwing him until he proves he can lay off. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Sharply hit back up the middle, and the tying run is on to start the inning. It's a leadoff single. A good job there of making a two-strike adjustment. Very compact there. He uses the middle of the field, and this just finds its way into center for a base hit. Here's Todd Frazier now, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Here's a 1-0. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. Two, two times here they've gone away, both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. A runner at first with no outs here. The 2-0 on the way. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2-1 and one now. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. A 2-1 offering. Well, He's fallen behind now. 3-1. and one. He knows a drill out there. you got to make him swing the bat. And not be giving up walks at this stage of the game. Because those could be fatal. Come on now. To the K right here. Come set. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Full count pitch on its way. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Ryan Ludwig will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Has a look, now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. He's set, now the pitch. And this pitch is swung on and missed by Ludwig, 0-2. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him, trying to get a punch out. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is swung on and missed that time by Ludwig as he set down two away here. Boy. And in the first two games of this series, he's already struck out a total of four times now. You get to where you just hate taking that walk back to the dugout. I'll tell you, it's a very frustrating feeling. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. 
And that's going to put an end to this one. And the Indians will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. And this was a big win for these guys. That's number 100 on the season. And with the postseason looming, you have to think that they'll be considered one of the favorites to go ahead and win it all. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. A big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ballgame. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Indians win this one 6-5. to five. Good night from Cleveland. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Six runs, six hits, no errors. They left no runners on base. For the Reds, time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. A reminder that the Regional Transit Authority provides convenient, affordable service to and from Progressive Field. The Rapid Transit provides direct service to Tower City, only a short 10-minute walk from Progressive Field through RTA's walkway to Gateway. Happy Hump Day, everyone, as we hit the halfway point of the week. Let's take a look back at Tuesday's news and results. Starting in the American League Central, the Cincinnati Reds were in Cleveland doing interleague battle with the Indians. And it was Cleveland who was victorious, or was 6-5. to five. Lonnie Chisenhall was a force at the plate, driving in three runs. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. The Rangers paid visit to the Chai Sox on the south side, and it was the Chai Sox who came away victorious. The score was 3-1. to one. Jay Martin was the winning pitcher in this one, his seventh victory of the year. The Detroit Tigers were in the Big Apple to play the Yankees. The Tigers came away with the win. Final score was 4-2. to two. Jonas Fisher grabbed the win in relief, his fifth on the year. The San Diego Padres paid visit to the Twins at Target Field in Minneapolis, and it was the Twins who came out on top. The score was 6-5. to five.
Caleb Thielbar, was the winner in relief. It was his eighth victory on the year. The Kansas City Royals paid visit to the Valley of the Sun to take on the D-backs, and it was the Royals who prevailed 5 to nothing. The Orioles were in Canada to battle the Jays, and it was the Orioles who came out on top 7 to 2. Ubaldo Jimenez threw well enough to earn his ninth W of the year. The Tampa Bay Rays took on the green and gold at Oakland's O.Co. Coliseum. The A's came away with the win. The final was 6 to 3. A.J. Griffin was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. The Braves played the Mariners in an interleague matchup in the Pacific Northwest, and the Braves came away with the win, 12-4. Evan Gaddis picked up five RBIs and really made the difference in this one. Ricky Hendricks was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. The Mets matched up against the Nationals in D.C., and it was the Nationals who came out on top. Final score was 6-2. Wilson Ramos led the charge offensively with three RBIs in the contest. Jordan Zimmerman was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. He is among the NL leaders in shutouts. The Astros took on the Phillies in the city of brotherly love, and the Astros nabbed the victory. The score was 2-1. to one. The San Francisco Giants paid visit to Miller Park to match up with the Brewers, and Milwaukee was victorious in this one. The final score was 8-6. to six. The Miami Marlins matched up against the Buccos at PNC Park, and Miami prevailed in extra innings, the final 5-3. Jacob Turner earned the victory on the mound, his first of the season. The Boston Red Sox took on the Cardinals at Bush Stadium. The Red Sox came away with the win. The final score was 9-4. Justin Masterson started and pitched well enough to earn his sixth victory of the season. The Cubs took on the Rockies in Coors Field in Denver, and it was the boys from Northside Chicago who grabbed the W, the final 4-3. Emilio Bonifacio collected four hits and led the charge offensively for the winning side. He is among the National League leaders in stolen bases. Travis Wood threw well enough to earn his ninth W of the year. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim headed north on the I-5 to take on the Dodgers in the freeway series, and it was the Angels who came out on top 6-1. Hector Santiago earned the victory on the hill, tossing a complete game gem. And that's what's happening around the baseball world heading into today. Join us again tomorrow for the latest from around Major League Baseball.